Welcome back to Get Down to Business. This is the show all about small business, jobs, and entrepreneurship. I'm thrilled to be joined by Nicole Morgan, CEO of Resolute PR, a full service into public relations and marketing agency, working with a variety of industries focused on driving and commanding results. Nicole, welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So, Nicole, um, we're having this conversation in the latter half of 2022, which seems crazy. Um, so, my first question to you, Nicole, is is it possible for a business in this strange era um, where it's very crowded, very, very loud um, marketing space, how can a small business stand out? Uh, I mean, it's such a good question and it's interesting because I, I think in the last two years I've seen a lot of businesses and individuals really taking a step back and trying to ask some tough questions about who they are and what is the messaging that they want out there. Um, and so I think it's been a real positive for a lot of businesses because they've cut out a lot of the clutter. Um, but that that is probably where I would recommend a lot of businesses start is to take the opportunity to, to really stop, take a step back, look at what is it that, what are the services that we provide that we really feel we're strongest in? What are some things that we're doing or that we have done in the past that we just really don't feel like are fulfilling to us um, or to our clients or our customers? And, and beginning there, and then also looking at competitors and seeing how you stand apart from them. So important indeed, standing out in a crowded uh, online environment, crowded a digital environment is certainly something that I know all of our listeners are paying close attention to. But I know one of the things, Nicole, that you are uh, quite the expert on is branding, building a brand identity which uh, connects you with your target audience. Nicole, for a small business owner, an entrepreneur that's just getting started, how do you, how do you actually build it? Uh, building a, a brand sounds like a lot of work. It is. And I think it's it's something where, you know, there are a lot of low cost resources that are out there and it's easy to to try to cut corners in the beginning and go, well, I'll just design my own logo or I'm just going to throw up a website myself on Wix. Um, and the, the, the thing is, I, this is so important. People really underestimate how much this can impact how people see your business and the quality of what you put out there is something that people associate with the quality of the work that you're doing. So I tell people, you know, even if you you, you work with you know a college student or a freelancer and you can't work with a with a firm like ours yet um, really take the time to, to invest some money into what your brand is because it's going to be paying off in the long run and it can be really detrimental and almost set you back if you're having to do that later in the process once you get going Absolutely. I'm chatting with Nicole Morgan, CEO of Resolute PR. Um, and Nicole, I know your work has been featured in the Washington Post, Baltimore Sun, and the Los Angeles Business Journal. Certainly, you know a thing or two about making an impact and standing out, um, which is the reason for my next question. I'm curious, what are some of the latest trends in these spaces of public relations, marketing, and advertising that you think our listeners should be paying close attention to? Video is um, certainly a tactic that is, it, it, people are just responding really well to it. I mean, if you just scroll through your feed on social media, even on LinkedIn, you're seeing that video is becoming more and more of a popular means of communication. People can, they can actually see you. And, you know, when we're working in this remote environment, it's difficult to make those connections, um, or it has been in the past. Yeah, so uh, video is certainly a tool that I'm seeing that um, continues to get just more and more popular. Um, I was just reading an article the other day about how you can make your video more engaging and just really using that as an opportunity to connect with customers and to show your personality, especially in a remote environment. Um, the other thing that we're seeing is that while the opportunity is certainly still there for earned media, which would be if you could get a reporter to write a story about you and, and to kind of give that endorsement, those opportunities are still there, but they're becoming more and more difficult as the media landscape gets more um, crowded. And, and so what we're seeing is that people are, are trying to shift more to owned content. And that can be things like blogs, it could be things like your company newsletter, it could be those videos, it could be graphics that you create, but those are opportunities for you to talk about um, the areas in which you have expertise. And it does take time to put all of that together. But again, there, it, that's content that you can own and that you can reuse in a lot of different ways. That's awesome. And uh, it's not every day that I get the opportunity to speak with the CEO of a public relations firm. So just before we wrap up over here, uh, Nicole, what is the one thing that you want our listeners to put into practice this week? 
Ooh, I think that your very first question was a really great one to, to take a step back and you know we're kind of we're getting into the last quarter of the year it's time to start planning for next year um, really take a step back and think about your branding you know what are you putting out there that does not reflect who you are as a business or where do you want to go and what types of things do you need to start working to implement in the coming year Awesome. That's great advice. Again, coming from Nicole Morgan, CEO of Resolute Public Relations, which I certainly want our listeners to get in touch with you. So, Nicole, perfect segue into that. How can we contact you and get in touch with you and your firm? Yeah, our website is resolutepr.com, and we have a blog on there. You can join our newsletter. We send out a newsletter with content every single month, um, or you can just you know can send me an email through there, and I'd love to talk to you about your business and how we can help. Well, Nicole Morgan, thank you so much for sharing your advice with our listeners. Definitely uh, my big takeaway over here is get started with something. Get started with building your brand. Get started with uh, following the latest trends and subscribe to that newsletter that's on Resolute's website. I know every month there's some really good content, really good information that's there. Nicole, one more time, what's that website? ResolutePR.com. ResolutePR.com. Nicole Morgan, thank you so much for joining us on the program. And I'm very excited because we are not done yet on this uh, on this program, on this episode of Get Down to Business. I'm going to be joined by Anthony, Antonio Garrido in just a moment. Don't touch the dial. You're listening to Get Down to Business. We'll be right back.